Hey, what's up guys, it's Claudio and we're at Littleton, Colorado, Twilight Crit, 5,000 feet of elevation and we're gonna figure out some stuff here. It's Thursdays with Claudio. Man, I was excited. Guys, first time at elevation, 5,000 feet, a little bit above 5,000 feet. From the gun, boom, let's go. I was confident. Um, I did not want to get stuck behind any of this. There were, um, it was split up between, I actually registered as a Cat 3 Masters, 40 plus. I'm 40, guys. My first time doing such a thing. The 40 pluses could, were racing with the, everyone else. So we're all getting, but we're getting, uh, how do you call it? We're getting tagged, placed <laughs> separately, right? But we're all together. All the Cat 3s, regular Cat 3s, and the Masters. And the numbers kind of tell you things, so you can kind of know, but I wasn't really paying attention to too much of that. I was just trying to race the race and just be up there. Already in the front. Do not chase this, Claudio. Do not. It's just going to burn a hole in my legs. Also, um, a, big, a big advice that I got is um, try not to go in the red if, you are, if you're not used to the altitude. I had been in Colorado for like five days um, in Denver, so I kind of I had five days of acclimation. And, but I don't know if that's enough. Um, I haven't really trained in elevation so people were saying, man, just be careful when you go in the red. Once you get in the red, it's hard to come down if you're not acclimated. So I was really careful about that, really careful about my efforts and just kind of keeping it steady, trying not to really surge too much, trying not to attack or like go with attacks that I, I didn't think were really worth it, right? Guys, I'm a little sick. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's Thursday. Um, I'm in Portugal right now. We don't celebrate that here. Uh, I'm traveling. If you guys have been following me, I've been all over the place, all over Europe writing. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Claudio underscore Fiero, to follow my adventures and see what I'm up to, my training abroad. I've got some really cool stuff. Um, I was in Italy, in the mountains. I was in Tuscany riding. Uh, I was in Nice uh, a couple weeks ago. That was incredible. And now I'm in Lisbon riding around here, having a good time. Um, and let's get into this video here. Um, by the way, before we do that, if you're not subscribed, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, let's hit that subscribe button, smash the like button. It'd be really great to get to 10K. Wow, can you imagine 10K subs? Thank you so much for subscribing. I caught a cold. I've been off the bike for three days. This is my fourth day off the bike, kind of a bummer. Um, but I'm, I'm on the ups. I'm on the ups. And uh, it's two laps in here. I'm just trying to hide. I'm trying to get some shelter, but I'm trying to stay up there because I'm trying to like understand where the brakes are. I just want to be in it. And this is kind of a technical crit, so I don't want to get in the back. Um, I, I, it was strung out. This whole thing was strung out. If you look in the rear cam, it's just like almost single file on some of these. Average speed, 27 miles an hour. Um, seven laps in, there's two people up the road there might even be more people up the road. I'm trying to, like I'm trying to decide, should I jump? I'm scared, guys. I was scared of the elevation that was gonna, it was gonna, you know, bite me in the ass. Like I would surge and then I, what if I couldn't recover? Like, oh my God, and then I couldn't be in the break. I'm not like a breaker white guy. Anyways, gosh, my nose is running. Um, so I was just trying to stay in there. The thing is about, being so far up is there's no draft. There's like no draft behind this dude. You got to be like five wheels back to really get into some kind of draft situation. Here I'm getting, I mean, a little bit of a draft, but it's nothing. Like you can feel the wind just like everywhere. And you got to ride right up on the guy to really get on him. So this guy fell back. We're still chasing. This guy, I believe, I think he has teammates. So he, he's like motivated to chase this thing back. The guys are already up the road. I think it's two or three. Um, yeah, they're kind of gone, though. They're gone. This guy's chasing, though. I start to fall back, and I am, uh, we let that go. Man, I missed that break. I've never really, I made a break like twice in my life. And it's, um, I remember the time that I did it, I had to, I had to make a huge effort. I, have to, I had to like 
sprint my butt off, and then like pray to God that I recovered while I sat in the break well, before it was my turn to go. Like you have to put, you gotta do something. You can't just like, whoops, I found myself on a break. Although that does happen sometimes. You just follow the right wheels and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm here somewhere. I'm in a break. Most people that get in the breaks, they wanna get in the breaks, they go for it, they, they're looking for it all the time. And I think I, I really am trying to get into that mindset instead of just sitting in so far in my career as a cyclist, I've been like just sitting in and like, well, let's just wait for the last three laps, you know? Um, I got a little bit tired, so I started falling back. I'm more in the mid-pack now. Still feeling good. I was like surprisingly good. Heart rate is not through the roof, right? My max heart rate is 194. Threshold is somewhere like 270, somewhere around there. Four watts per kilo. Taking these corners, let's go. Uh, it's a good group of people. I enjoyed it. Um, a couple squirrely riders, but whatever, it's all good. A little bit of ping pong action here and there in the corners. You gotta track, you gotta really track the line. You gotta trust your line. Trust the person in front of you. This one was, a, this one was an important one. Trust it and go. And there's a right, another one, another left right here. You got a little bit more space on this one. Um, pushing watts out of these corners. Not terrible though. And here it kind of, it got really wide and this is the really wide right hand turn. You can go super wide if you want. It wasn't sketchy. Some people tried to go around here and the pace either, either you can swarm. Here was the most swarmed moment right here. Again, let's look at this. Yeah, hold that wheel, Claudio. Come on, let's go. Ah, 22 laps in. So we're getting to the end of the race. The break is gone, guys. Break is done. Um, we're just, we're all racing for, I think, like fifth place, fifth or sixth place. And I am racing against the Masters 40 plus. Um, I wasn't really sure. I mean, I kind of could tell some people who they were, but I was just trying to like race the race, like normal, right? Okay, we're getting there. I think this is what, three laps to go? Three to go. Oh, oh, here's the part. We're gonna analyze it. That's just happened. So let's check it out. Let's see what happened here. Uh, we're gonna redo it. We're gonna redo it. Here it is. <laughs> I don't know what he said. Fucking asshole this, fucking asshole shithead. I don't know. Uh, let's rewatch that. Okay, here it is. Here's the turn. There he is, 476. I'm gonna follow the purple. It's kind of pretty wide gap. I'm following wheels. Okay, I'm still holding that wheel, the purple. I'm going for the purple. I get, <laughs> I get a little bit ping pong. I get a little bit ping pong from the uh, from the left, and I, I think I, I, I swerved it just tiny, bro. I, I went like three inches to the right, and the guy freaked out. Like, come on. Also, three laps to go. Like, come on. It's gonna be a lot of that. Most of the time when people yell at you, they're scared, that's all it is, man. You don't gotta worry about it. It's their business. It wasn't anything crazy, right? It's not like I put the whole thing in danger and like, dude, all that stuff happens every turn. Like, look at every turn, look at it like, you know? Gaps open up and then they close and then people get pinched. Um, if there's an opening, and it's like the last three laps of a race, people are gonna go in there. People are gonna shoot that gap. Like you should shoot the gap. And people will need to break. Well, people falling back. What is this, two to go, one to go? Where are we at? Well, oh, people are sprinting already. One to go, let's go, Claudio. People are moving up for position. I remember this, this was like, Get it, get it, get it, get that. You see, it's like these little gaps that open up and then they close, but you gotta, you gotta decide, you gotta like shoot through them. When you shoot through them, people will hear you. Oh man, <laughs> oh shit. 
things are moving fast. And right now, it's like you got to get into position. And it's like my coach always says in the last lap of a race, or the last two laps of a race, there's two sprints. You got to sprint the first time to get into position. Then you got to recover, and then you got to sprint again at the end. And that's the thing. You saw a lot of people sprinting already just to get into position. If you're out of position, you gotta, you gotta do a double sprint. That's the key thing. It's like if you can hold position with five laps to go, that's the way to go. That's the way to do it. You need a team though to like, or just like be really good at holding wheels. You get swarmed and things happen. Two corners to go. Let's go, Claudio. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Get in there. Yes. That's the top of the race right there except, you know, the break. Let's see what I can do. People are still moving up. Shoot it, shoot it. Get the inside. All right, here it is. We got 200, 300 meters, 200 meters. Let's go. Hit the 900 watts. Don't fall backwards too much. Come on, let's go. Hold position. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I got fifth place in my category. Fifth place out of like 25 of the 40 plus guys. Let's go. Fifth place. That's a pretty good result. I don't know what I got in terms of the whole race. They didn't score me that way. So you guys saw what you saw. But wow, racing at altitude, I had legs. A little bit out of position there at the end. But I was feeling good this summer, guys. I was feeling good in the late season. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I'm going somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. I think some kind of a lookout point, ironically.